Hi everybody, it's Deborah at Boys and Girls Club, back with another yoga class. I hope some of you get a chance to watch uh, the recorded version. If you're missing uh, practicing live with me today on Zoom, you can always check the Facebook page at Boys and Girls Club and uh, follow along with the recorded version. So today I have a really active class uh, planned for you. So it's going to be a standing practice. We might do a little relaxation at the end. But before we start, I want to encourage you um, to notice if perhaps because we've been sheltering in place and um, adopting a whole different lifestyle, that maybe you're not getting the exercise that you're used to getting. And consequently, you might feel uh, weak, a little weaker, a little less energetic, a little more lethargic. Um, than you normally are. And so it's important for us to stay strong and stay active. So if at any time during this um, practice, you feel like you need to stop and rest and, and then jump back in, that, that would be really great. So instead of just bailing out altogether and saying, I don't want to do this, this is too hard, just take a break and um, go to a resting pose Take a few deep breaths, get yourself rejuvenated, and then jump back in and pick up wherever we are. So you all remember child's pose, right? I'm gonna take my glasses off now. And I'm gonna show you child's pose in case you forgot right from where I am. So I'm just gonna push myself back and rest my head on the floor. And that's child's pose or balasana. So that's a good place to go if you feel fatigued and you need a little resting break. It's a great place to turn your attention inward and go inside yourself and see, ask yourself some questions. How do I feel? Do I feel hot? Do I feel sleepy? Do I feel breathless? How do I feel? And then notice if you can just calm your breath down and keep your focus on your breath. If maybe, um, shortly after a few breaths, you don't notice that you feel different. So feel free to take a rest of the pose if you need. But for now, I've got my mat behind me and I've got it turned sideways, so the long way is that way. And I'm gonna go stand right in the middle of it to start our practice with a standing uh, vinyasa flow from the um, Iyengar school. So we'll be going through several poses that you probably know already, um, but we're going to do them continually. So we'll move from one pose to the next. Um, watch your breath and be strong and rest if you need to. And here we go. So right in the middle of your mat, I'm going to move back a little bit. I'm standing right in the middle of my mat in Kalasana. Standing mountain pose. And my toes are straight ahead, that's important. So if you're a dancer, you get to taking dance classes, you work a lot with your heels together and your toes out, or turned out position, but that opens your hips up here in the hip socket. So we know that we spend a lot more time doing parallel with our toes pointed straight ahead and a little space between our feet. And now I'm going to bring my hands to our alter position. Send my inhale all the way down to my belly. And blow it up. And then I extend my ribs sideways. And my ribs are too flexible. And then I blow it up. I'm blowing it out of my mouth right now. You can let it go through your nose. It's a great way to release uh, just some feelings that you don't want to be having. Anxiety, tension, worry, fear. Blow it out of your mouth. So one more time, breathing a deep, full body breath. Slowly blow it out of Okay, now we're nice and focused. So we're going to bend our knees. We're going to jump our feet and let our feet come back back and back to the side. Right, so you can see my arms are trying to make up the letter T. So I don't want my arms to be drooping down here or my knees to be up here. I want to be right straight out of my shoulders. And I'm reaching through my fingers. 
fingers. So if my fingers are limp and floppy, then my energy gets stuck in my wrist and I can't get all the way out. But if I point my fingers and imagine that my arms are like swords and I'm sending laser beams of energy right out my fingers, this helps support my fingers. Now I'm going to take my left foot and rotate it. Let 
And you can realize another problem. Okay, when you get to our conversation, we're going to do a good job So I'm going to do this part of the Is it done forward or down the I'm going to put forward and over my arm. And I'm going to slide and right foot forward. So the way up to Back to the side on the other side. So you do that weight shift to bring yourself forward, bring your weight from over your shoulders, drag your left foot forward, bring your foot, drag your shoulders, press your feet down, bring your knee out, and now we're going to lower your knee, lower the back to the left, and the other side. Uh, go back to downward facing dog. When we do our salutation, we'll be going into table pose for downward facing dog. And this is the back to the left side. I'm going to drop my knees here, bring my elbows to my ribs and arms to my ribs. And then I'll let my tail reach up, bend my elbows and put my chin and chest down. And then I can put my belly down. I can bring my elbows forward and go to stance pose. Or I can keep my hands back here and take my foot up in the palm. Now let's go ahead and relax it in the knee. As I walk your feet forward, lower yourself up. Are you ready to put all of that together in our salutation to the sun? Going to make us nice and strong. We're going to be focusing on solar energy, on active energy, the same kind of energy you need when you're out on the court on the sandbar or basketball. That same kind of high energy is the energy that we're calling in the sunset. So let's see if we can do two without stopping. And then I'll check in. Maybe we can get three. So always start with Kadasana. Keep focus and your attention to keep your mind focused on the earth. And we're going to start with a big inhale, shaking the arms off to the side and lifting up the legs. And you're going to now breathe out and relax your palms right down in the center of your body. You're going to take yourself into a forward fold. This is called the Utkarasana. Come into it, the way you need to. But if you can keep your feet straight, if you're too flexible, then you might want to drop your stomach. Your body's a little bit away, so you don't have to put your knees. Okay, now I'm going to take my right foot forward and my right foot back. Sorry. And bring yourself up to the rear. Sometimes when I go too slow, I just get up. Breathing in. And out to down and back. Drop the knees, lift the knees up, and inhale, hold yourself to the sink, hold your shoulder on the sink. Slow your toes under, exhale and go back to down here. Now bring that right foot forward. Take your toes up, lower your head and lift your toes. All the time, keep your hands on the floor and just drag them back to the knee, down to the knee. And now we're going to come up with a flat back. Sweep over the feet, lift the feet up. And bring them down to the knee. Now we're going to go a little faster so I can make sure I don't mess up. And here we go again. Breathe in. Breathe out. Take the right leg back. Breathe in. 
Side of the series on both sides, so it should feel pretty energized. So let's go down on that last now. So let's do constructive rest. So lie on the back, put your feet down on the floor, and draw your heels up so you can touch them with your feet on the hip. Spread your toes out on the floor. Now put the pads of your fingers. It feels really good to me. And I'm going to touch that bony part of my skull. I'm just going to lift my head up and just place it on the two my leg. And then I'm going to put it on the skin. Right in the line, you can put it on the body. And then I'm going to put my head back down. And I want to keep my chin down. So that's the one I'm going to And then I'm going to relax both of my legs from the bench. Okay, I'm ready to walk. So let's do a very gentle spinal shift. So take your hands down and squeeze them out. Shoulder up, palm slowly. And then we move up. Okay, now I'm going to take my knees. I'm going to keep you close to my chest. And drop my knees over towards my right elbow. My left shoulder might want to come off the floor that we can do for you. I'm going to breathe in and lift my knees up and take it to the other side. Slow it up. Now I'm going to go back and forth to that spot. Breathe in. Slow it up. Slow it Now come on back to center, drop your feet, and I'm going to do a gentle exercise for those abdominals. Oh, yeah, now it's time to stop. So just stretch yourself out, corpse pose here. Just rest and you close your eyes for a minute. I'm going to turn that down. So hopefully you're still resting. I should ask you to take this pose. And when you're doing that, you want to just let all of the muscles go soft. So imagine that your bones are moving in shape. That your flesh sticks in the bones. So you want to let your body get really heavy. And then just do a quick little body scan. 
Relax your calves and shins. Relax your knees and your thighs. Relax your belly and the back of your hips. Relax your rib cage in the middle of your body. Relax your chest and your upper back. Relax your shoulders. Great work, everybody. I hope you feel better. I do. I always feel better after a little yoga. So bring your hands to prayer position. Okay. Take a deep breath into your heart. And I thank you for joining me today. Namaste.